we have a faucet that is dripping. That cold side is off because it leaks out the handle. The hot side is, as you can see, dripping. Okay, so let's move right along. I'll open up underneath. Shut the stop off to the hot side. Make sure it is off. The cold side is off. Let us dig in. So I imagine that these tops spin off and there's a set screw under the handle here. It's a little loose. That's kind of a little loose. Some guys will just take the pliers right to it and then it'll jump and bugger up those knurls. So I usually like to take a towel or a cloth, kind of put it over it and then I can see one side of it. That way it kind of kind of protects it a little bit from getting buggered up when I go to try and spin this off. There it goes. You don't have to put a whole lot of force on it either. And this just will spin right off. Keep the cold on the cold side and yes indeed the set screw is right in there. So we'll pull that out and hopefully that handle will come out. Let's see if we can get it with a Phillips. Yep, not bad. Sometimes the flathead will give you more leverage, so it's easier to break the break that screw loose. Wiggle it out. That handles a little bit stiff on there, but now it's free. Finish pulling that screw out, and the handle comes the handle comes right out. Set that to the side, and we have this. Top, top nut that we have to get off. Same thing with the pliers. See if you want to do quick little short bursts of torque, not a long spin, you know, hard spin. Quick torque will break things a little bit better than a long hard spin. Okay, so it looks like it is going to be a cartridge deal, which I figured it would be. I'm not sure which cartridge or what brand this is. Might be a Kohler, I don't know. I doubt that I will have the cartridge with me. For this too, you could also use an adjustable. I'm sure that would work just fine. Again, short bursts, because as you can see, if you did long bursts, you're gonna just move that whole valve body, so. That's not what we really want to do. We want to break that cartridge free, which I don't know if we're going to do. I might have to hold that valve body from underneath. If I can even get to it from underneath, just like that. is on there. Obviously this has been leaking for quite some time. Um, let's see if I can get the pliers up there to hold it. Hands are not, not 
quite strong enough. I might need to make these pliers a little bit bigger. See how that goes. Wow. Okay. I might go try and get the uh, socket and the impact driver and see if we can't just impact that out. Okay, we got our impact. Let's see if we have a socket that's going to fit this that I can actually get onto with the impact. Looks like that's the one. 17 mil. Let's put our adapter in. Take our bit out real quick. spinning around on that adapter. That's not very good. a bit. What a mess. Yeah, I don't think that's what I need, unfortunately. I'm going to have to run out and match this up, I think. Probably a Kohler deal. <laughs> Definitely not something that I have, so. Let me clean all this up here quick so that we can then go and get the new one but wow is that in there it's crazy you can see the seal here is split could be one of the reasons why it was leaking okay um, apparently the mic was not on for some reason not sure why um, couldn't find the cartridges for this um, I ended up using the ones that I had on the truck. They're the same bottom, so the, the actual valve mechanism works. It just doesn't have the threads up by the nut there, so I can't thread the um, this scutcheon collar on. But functionality-wise, they work. So until I can actually get the right one, this works for this setup, and it will at least get them in somewhat of a working fashion. Um, and they won't have leaks so that'll be that and then when i get the right ones i'll just swap them out <laughs>